Mr. Speaker, I um, yield myself such time as I may consume. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 712. This legislation represents yet another attack by House Republicans on critical public health, safety, and environmental protections. I oppose this unnecessary and potentially dangerous legislation in its entirety. However, I'll focus my remarks today on Title II of this bill, which is in the jurisdiction of the Oversight Committee. Title II, also known as the Alert Act, is an attack on agency rulemaking that is inaccurately advertised as an effort to improve transparency. In fact, this bill explicitly prohibits the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs from taking into account benefits when providing estimated cumulative costs of proposed and final rules. That's not providing transparency, that's providing one side of a story. The Coalition for Sensible Safeguards, which represents over 150 good government, labor, scientific, and health organizations, sent a letter opposing the Alert Act when it was marked up in the Oversight Committee. The letter states, and I quote, the requirements of the Alert Act, which would delay important public protections and waste scarce government resources, fail to provide needed transparency improvements in the regulatory review process. Instead, the reporting requirements mandated under the Alert Act would undermine transparency by generating cherry-picked data that seems calculated to provide a distorted picture of the U.S. regulatory system, end of quote. The bill would also prevent a rule from taking effect until certain information is posted online for at least six months. The only exceptions to this requirement would be if an agency exempts the rule from the notice and comment requirements of the Administrative Procedure Act or if the President issues an executive order. This is an unnecessary roadblock that jeopardizes public health and public safety. One example of a rule that would be affected by this bill is a recently published ATF regulation that closes a loophole that allowed individuals to avoid required background checks when purchasing some of the most dangerous weapons to trust or legal entities. Under the bill, this rule could not take effect until certain information had been posted online by the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs for six months. That's six months. That delay is putting common sense gun safety procedures in place and would the delay them. Many of the disclosure requirements in this legislation are redundant. Agencies already publish regulatory plans twice a year. This bill would require agencies to provide monthly updates to their regulatory plans. This is unnecessarily burdensome and would require agencies to divert already scarce resources to comply. I urge my colleagues to reject H.R. 712 and I reserve the balance of my time.